So, so we're gonna do hemoflagellates today. So there's trypanosomas, right? So there's trypanosoma gambiense and trypanosoma rhodesiense. So now which causes West African sleeping sickness and which causes East African sleeping sickness? There's almost always one MCQ on it, while, like during MBBS, either in the second year or the final year. So the way I remember it is T Rode Ciense. In the spelling itself, there are three E's. In Gambiense, there are only two E's. So these three E's tell me that it's going to be East African sleeping sickness. Rode Ciense. And the other one, obviously, then is going to be West African sleeping sickness. The other way to remember T. Rode Ciense as East African sleeping sickness is there's a very famous saying. You ride east, you keep moving east, you keep moving east. Like, it, it says that, like, if you're determined to do something, you just keep at it. Like, you just keep going at it. And that's the meaning of, you just keep moving east, keep moving east. So, you keep riding east, you keep riding east. So, rod, like riding, E-E-E, -E -E, riding east, that's why. T. Rhodesiense is East African Sleeping Sickness. Stay awesome.